Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to XCOM 2. We're going to continue where we left off, so we're going to try to reduce the contact cost here, uh, so that we can continue making contact down here in New Chile. Let's do that. Uh, 50%. You're right, supply drop decrease. Yep, nothing I can do about that. Debris cleared. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is clear, clear, clear. Um, hmm. Probably should go ahead and build the advanced warfare. Insufficient power to build the Scilab, which is what I really want to build. Like, we could kind of go without Advanced Warfare Center. I know we have some wounded people and we haven't gotten our random perks and what have you, but... I really want a side deal. Means we need more power. Exposed power coil. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Alright. Get working on that. Fifteen days. Hmm. All right. Let's build. Let's build the advanced warfare center. Warfare center construction initiated. Everyone's busy? Really? Oh, because it automatically assigned two engineers down here. Okay. I think that's probably okay. So we're going to need more power, so this should address that, right? Either we put a power relay on there and then it adds a lot more, or this itself will give us power, or... I'm trying to remember. There's two different types of power things. One allows you to build something there and it costs no power. The other one allows you to build a power relay there and it generates more power. So we'll just have to see how that shakes out, I guess. All right. Scan. Exosuit complete. Nice. Experimental heavy weapon. Okay, let's go. Let's go check that out, right? Because how cool is that? Uh, not research. Yeah, there we go. Engineering. Just the word and I'll get started, Commander. Choose a project. Okay, so now... Here we go. Experimental heavy weapon. Okay, well, we've got one Alarium Core. Let's do it. Shredder Gun. Wrist-mounted slug thrower sprays a cone of sharp particles, damaging multiple enemies and shredding their armor. Okay. I mean... I mean, that's useful, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I haven't used it. I'm hoping for, like, a flamethrower or something, though. There we go. Reduce contact to the next region. Uh, five days for an intel reward. Yeah, I think no. Let's go. Let's go make contact here. 40 intel. Setting course for Sector 4, Chile. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Okay, there we go. We got clutch. And let's customize you a little bit there. Secondary armor color. Brr, brr, brr. Let's go with 56. Weapon 6. Looks good. I don't know if those changes will stick. I didn't say save to character pool. Well. <laughs> oh well, I can always do it later. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta recruit someone. Let's do that. And... Okay, let's grab Alex. And let's grab... 
Dax. Yep. Okay. Advance got their propaganda machine working overtime. We're still seeing a steady flow of migrants heading into the cities. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for the common cold. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly, or the disabled? The aliens can offer them something we can't. Something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom. Even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. Like to pick up some of these other. Like to pick up some of these other deals here, some of these new tactics. If nothing else, wet work, right? For extra XP. I think it's retroactive too. Nah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. We're gonna have some. Uh, we might have other expenses coming up and. We don't want to be poor. I've done that before. It's not a good idea to be completely flat broke. Oh, supply raid. Okay. Raid advent troop transport. Okay, that'll work. Let me put a team together and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here's the team I put together for Operation First Sleep. Raid on advent troop transport. We've got Eve, Bear, Jetpack, Trainwreck and Izanagi. So we've got some some fancy new stuff. We've got this incendiary grenade. We've got an acid grenade. We've got these venom rounds, which I've given to Jetpack. And the reason I've done this is because since he's a gunslinger and can take all kinds of shots every turn, his venom rounds will actually apply to each shot, which is pretty darn cool. So not only can they do extra damage, but they can poison any or organic target. So that should be pretty slick. Looking forward to that. Let's see, what else did I do here? Um, I gave up, I built a mind shield and gave it to Bear because he's shaken, so that hopefully will keep him in the fight. And then I wanted to do this with you guys watching. We do have our exosuit, so let's put that on. Oh yeah, that's right. It looks pretty cool. So it gives plus one mobility and plus one armor. That's kind of nice. Let's see. Yep, that's pretty slick. Okay, and then we've got a choice of the, oh, the rocket launchers by default, huh? Okay, so four to seven, got a really big range and radius, but we also have the shredder gun. Six to nine. Oh, wow, okay, and radius of 12, okay. <laughs> we'll be using that then. I guess she can carry the flashbang too, because she'll be the most forward position-wise. Let's take a look at our weapon upgrades. I haven't upgraded these in a while. We've got an advanced scope, so plus 10 aim. Got a regular scope. Got a stock. Got an expanded mag. Got an advanced expanded mag. I think I'd really rather give those to, uh, like, I don't know. Like advanced scope? Mm, plus 10 aim. I don't know that I want to give that to her weapon. You know what I don't know is, let's see, weapon upgrade. So I can upgrade the sniper rifle. Do the upgrades to the primary weapon pass to the pistol? I don't really know. Hmm. I better not do that then until I can confirm. Like, you know, can pistols benefit from any upgrades? I'm guessing no. Yeah. But we should use these. Okay, we've already modified this mag rifle. Let's see what else we can do to it. It's got a repeater on it. Uh, we could do hair trigger. Advanced scope. Go ahead and put an advanced scope on it, and we can trade this weapon around between missions if we need to. Weapon name? Uh, that's gonna be Pepe. There we go. Since it's fully upgraded, why not? And I think we'll just hold on to the other things that we have for now. So I think we're good to go. Yep, Operation First Sleep. <laughs> Looking forward to this. Let's go smash more alien face.
Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Copy that. Recon picked up a transmission from a disabled Advent troop transport that the resistance locked down in this area. The aliens haven't managed to get this thing moving, so we're going in to try and seize whatever materials we can from it. They won't be happy to see us. Eliminate any hostile resistance and secure the area. Copy that. Will do. Menace 1-5. The Advent Troop Transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Okay. Oh, we start in concealment? Well, that's awfully nice. And no timer. Right. That's great. Okay, well. Mm hmm. Where's the zone wall? Oh, okay. So there could potentially be something behind us? Yeah, there could be. Alright, let's move up a little bit. Oh, that's cool. It makes it makes like special sounds. It's like <laughs> that's awesome. What we got there? It looks like a jabber officer. Oh, okay. I won't spoil it for you guys, but I encountered one of these in my private campaign. Yeah, these guys are nasty. Okay, we need to set up proper for that. Okay, JP. We need JP to get in closer. That looks like a decent spot. Yep. Okay. Christy, where could we put you? Uh, you could technically get a high ground bonus, but I'm thinking no to that. Out here looks pretty good. Yep. Good to go. Let's go out there. Okay. Is Anagi? Oh, wow. Maybe we could open up with something really nasty, like one of those grenades. Uh, I like, I kind of like that idea. Can we get close enough? This is not going to do it right here. No, but this could. All right. Roger that. Move up. And then bear. Okay. Take that corner. Sounds like they're walking this way. I'm not sure. Well, they're still in range, but I don't think we're going to be able to pull off the grenade thing. No. Well, hold on. Maybe if I move up? Question is, do I use incendiary grenade? Or acid grenade? I don't know, both are pretty cool, right? So... Okay, we need to reposition just a bit here, because I want to make sure... We're gonna have a shot. Maybe over here? Because they might go for this cover, and then there's an environmental over here we could use too. Alright, let's do this. Let's move Eve over here. Yep. Overwatch. Bear, I like your positioning. You stay where you're at. Actually, you know what I can do? Is I can... I don't think aid... I was gonna say I could aid protocol, but I don't really need to aid protocol anyone, I don't think. Nah, Overwatch. just Overwatch. And... Yeah, you've got long watch, so go ahead and enable that. JP... I guess you'll do regular overwatch with the sniper? Or should we... I feel like I should move him up. Alright, we'll go with this for now. Okay, so the question is incendiary grenade or acid? 
Acid seems like it would strip off armor and whatnot. Like, the acid potentially might be better against mechanicals. Then again, the actual damage is probably better against bio targets. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think I think I'll go for the acid on this one. And save the incinerary for like other targets, maybe hardened targets. Bombs away. Oh, I'm eager to see what this does. Hi! <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so that guy I was talking about earlier, this guy here. What? What did you say, you silly guy? So he can like, he's called a shield bearer. He punches the ground and he adds armor to all of them. Oh, we didn't get any of our other overwatches, really? Okay, well. So they're gonna pick up armor if he gets his action, which I guess he's going to. We'll see. There we go, Overwatch shot up. Oh, or we could just kill him. That works. <laughs> Goodbye, shield bearer. I saw it. Nice shot. Oh, that's right. Dead guy. Well, I saw you neutralize him. Very good. Okay, so let's see. Um, Really? That's not an environmental shot that we can blow up? Alright. Let's see here. Technically, oh, right, got overwatch up. Okay, can we... Well, we can get rid of that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can do... Oh, you can't see him. You know what? Got it covered. We don't... <laughs> Why do we need to move up? We've got this guy, like, dead six ways from oh, Sunday. Watch. And we've got a shot here. Oh, I'll... I just want to see this thing. Oh, it's a cone. I see. All right, well, we're not going to use that. Yes, we could flashbang him, but we're not going to. What we're going to do Check is hunker down over here. This guy should either die from the acid at some point, or he'll move forward. Oh, he's no longer affected. All right. Nice. <laughs> oh, loot. Okay. Check it before you get too close. Hey, take a look at this. Need to get up there and get that. All right. Let's, okay, I'll go. let's move up here. Let's not go too far. And go ahead and Overwatch. Bear, take that move. point. JP, I'm gonna dash you up. That looks okay. Go, go, go. Eve. You're gonna hang out right there. Okay, and what are we gonna do with Christy? Well, technically we could put her up here now. I mean, there's no cover up there, but... I'm not moving her forward. Yeah, go ahead and get up top for now. Mm, something over there, maybe. All right, Izanagi, grab that. If you say so. Vance expanded magazine. Okay, nice. Where to? It doesn't look like that thing's actually an environmental that can blow up, so... You can stay right there for now. On Overwatch. Let's move already. On Overwatch. Got it covered. Go ahead and reload. And let's move in a bit. Okay, JP. Finally. Mm. 
Yep, that's what I thought. I got nothing. Oh, that's not good. Target still up. <gasps> Utah Centurion. Oh, jeez. Okay. This just got real. Okay, shredded some of his armor, but yeah, this is scary. This is scary. Do we dare take that shot? Uh, probably not. Okay, let's go see what we can do. Let's let's move up. What's over there? All right, and let's drop it like it's hot with this incendiary grenade. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Looks like we can get two of them. Yep. Throw a grenade. Burning. That's good, right? One can assume that that is good. Alright, we, we really need to kill that guy though, so I'm gonna see if we can't basically focus fire that guy down. Not to say the Vipers aren't scary, but not as scary as a Mutant Centurion. Okay, what other tricks do we have in our sleeve here? You reach him with this? This thing? Uh, no. Got a shot. Got a flashbang, though. That might be the better option here. Yeah, let's let's flashbang him. He's already burning. There we go. Shot, shot. Yeah, that's not a guaranteed kill. We can't do that. We can move here. Maybe throw a grenade. Let's see. Probably out of range. Yeah. Well, we could take a pistol shot. Hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, and we still got JP back here. Can he get in range, though, is the question. Here. Take some venom rounds. That didn't do much. Well, did something. Shoot again. Okay, not so much with that. Oh, they're probably immune to venom rounds, right? I would say I would think vipers. So these two are just dis like disoriented and burning. The one in the back though is fully functional. Man, that Mutant Centurion is scary to me. Woo! Okay, he missed. They're all over me. Now you need to miss too. Okay, so we've got one Viper in the back. Might grab, might spit or something. Oh, return fire! Yeah! Go, JP! That was badass. You want some more? Okay, okay, okay. That that could be worse. Yeah, that, that could be worse. He's bound, but he's okay. He's okay. About to get burnt to a crisp. So if you're wondering like this mutant centurion, if you don't have that in your campaign, that's a, a, a tougher uh that is a tougher opponent that I added using uh the Long War mod. Uh Long War Studios mod, excuse me. Okay, let's see. Do you have a shot? You've got a shot. Eve, can you... Maybe uh, you can't get to... Mm. Really, you can't get over there to deal with the Viper? This is kind of what I need done here. Don't cheat. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, bear. Kiss the viper goodnight for me. Yeah! There we go. You can't handle me. P 
Peace. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. Woo. Hostile terminated. Really, no loot from a muton centurion? That's kind of harsh. All right, reload. So if you want a, um, I guess they're supposed to appear like mid game. So I must be. The game thinks I'm at mid-game then, I guess, because that's when the Centurion is supposed to show up. Or it might be triggered by what tech level you have or something. Okay, I heard something back this way. Uh-huh. Anyway, if you want another if you want another opponent, a tougher opponent, then you can you can add that. The Muton Centurion pack. You gonna run through the fire there? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so move up. Let's do scanning protocol. Ah, okay. Okay, so that's where the next group is. Good to know, right? Okay, let's move up a little bit. Reload. It's killing time. I guess that'll be okay. Come get some. Let's do this. Overwatch. Okay, move Eve up. This has been a pretty exciting mission so far. Let's see, okay, so they're like back here somewhere. Alright. You know what? Let's reload. Might It might be a static group. Might not, but... Don't really want to see them yet. Okay, good, good, good. So I'd like to kind of get some positioning going here. Go up top. JP. Yeah, you're going to see him right there. Pretty sure. So maybe... Maybe you take this corner for a turn? Yeah, that seems like a safer move. Pistol overwatch there. Overwatch up here. Okay, Eve. And go there. There's somewhere right about here. So she can do that next turn. Let's go ahead and reload then. We still haven't tried our shredder gun thing yet. That looks cool, right? I want to relocate. Hold on, let me see. Is there anywhere decent to go? It take two turns to set up back here, or we can move her back. Let's move her back, actually. Now she's gonna have to be shooting from way far back, so it's gonna hurt her percentage a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, okay. Was that two or three vipers? Man, that's oh, wow. Okay, hi. Okay. Uh, did three damage. That's not bad. Three damage there too. Okay, okay. It wasn't too bad. What do we got there? Oh. Is that so? Hi! <laughs> Watch those supply crates. Oh, whatever. Them, there won't be anything left for us to recover once the area is secure. I hear what you're saying, Central, but, you know, we're gonna use what's available, dude. Okay, decent shot. We've got an open shot there. Eve can move up. Right, I don't want to blow up any more crates, though. All right, take that shot. Hit the crate anyway, it looked like. Should oh no you don't have hmm you 
He gets a couple shots that are free. I guess we could try. All right, let's try a shot that's free. Hey, that works. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, and then... Move up. Who else has an action? This is all we've got left, huh? Alright, we'll take that. There we go. I was thinking about suppressing the one that's left, but... Yeah, move up. <laughs> of course, the one that's shaken that I need not to get hurt this mission is the one that keeps getting bound. Scumbags. Slash time. There we go. Oh, nice shot. Target neutralized. Status confirmed. Oh, All yes. High fives, everybody. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> Only one wounded. Excellent rating. That's pretty good. Okay, so hitting the caps lock key does still work. You just gotta wait a second until the screen comes up. Alright. Do, 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 do. XCOM 2 we won! <laughs> that was fun. I, I, I didn't get a chance to use the arm shredder heavy weapon though. Ah, it's okay. Oh, poor Barry's beat up again. No promotions that time. Well. I mean, they are starting to get higher rank, so it's going to take more XP, I guess. Got another expanded magazine, or advanced expanded magazine. Got some stuff there. Oh, that was... Wow, that was a pretty good haul. Shield bearer optopsy. Okay. Low intel. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're low on intel. I think there was a cache we could pick up, wasn't there? Not now. Let's see. Where was it? Yeah, right here. Well, let's... Let's finish this. Setting course for Chile. Yeah, let's finish making contact. We're gonna need to do a black site soon. Yeah, just to lower the avatar project a little bit. These findings will likely oh, Goss weapons research. Ongoing efforts, Commander. Okay, so let's assign something new. Okay, so we've got the Goss rifle and the mag cannon. So that's an upgrade for the sniper weapon and an upgrade for the grenadier's main weapon. Okay, advent mech breakdown, five days, muton autopsy. Oh, we could get intel from this data pad too. Let's do faceless autopsy because that should give us mimic beacon, if I remember correctly, and that thing is like ridiculously good. Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge. What's up, my peoples? Come to the mall. Come to me. <laughs> nice. We're reading you. All right, new income. New Great. Regional contacts located. Aha. Okay, good. So we can actually get to multiple sites here. We can get to a site here. We can get to a site here. Okay. All right. I mean, we got to make contact, but that's not bad. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. I've often wondered how the aliens... Oh, yeah. Mimic beacon. Woo -woo. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Let's go ahead and research that data pad. Begins immediately, Commander. Because we do need more intel. A full report available. And then let's head up... Actually, before I do that, 
We need to build a mimic beacon. Commander. Build items. Two faceless corpses and 50 supplies. Yep, I'll take that. You can only have, what, you can only have one? Oh, I don't have enough faceless corpses. Okay, I would definitely make more if I could. They are so good. You'll see in an upcoming mission, they are super, super good. Okay, mag cannon, 150 supplies? What? Wow, 150 supplies. It's kind of pricey, it's kind of pricey. Yeah, I think I'll hold off for now on that deal. Yep. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. Mm. So why the sudden change of heart? Idle Most staff? People, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It unused delirium cores. Yeah, I know I have unused delirium cores, but I don't really. They wanted peace. As I well, said, or do I? It was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my proving grounds. Next then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. Hello, Commander. Okay, I don't need you in there. And choose a project. Got three cores. Let's go ahead and. Another experimental weapon? No, we haven't even tried out the one we have. Let, let's do another, um... Let's do another ammo. Tracer rounds. Containing smart rounds, shooter, fire, specialized, plus 10. Do the soldier's aim when equipped. Oh, well that's pretty cool. Alright. And then we have an available engineer. Let's put that engineer in here. Yep, dot. Sign her to there. Okay, let's head back up here. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to go start doing these sites. Yep. If we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar oh, project, okay, yeah, then for sure we need to. As soon as possible. We will. We will. This one is the one we'll hit, I guess. Training complete. Okay, view soldier. And guerrilla tactics school. Assign another soldier. That would be Decker. Uh, as a specialist? Yep. Yeah, another one. Okay, okay, I got it. I understand. I understand. Shush your face. Yes, we're gonna do it. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. We we're going to. We're going to. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. It is unfortunate. Oh yeah, fifty percent penalty. Recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Oh, a lieutenant. What? Oh, they're saying that because of the Avatar project. Yeah, whatever, dude. I got your mediocre. Okay, let's reveal the hidden. Yes. Incorporates Viper poison into their weaponry, giving Advent soldiers poisonous rounds for a month. Alien scientists make great strides in the Avatar project, instantly adding one block to the progress meter. I'm not too worried about that because we're going to just start countering it. Aliens step out their construction efforts, reducing alien facility counter by two weeks. So I don't know. We'll just see which one. I'll probably counter the Venom rounds, actually. Okay, let's go get that. Do I wanna, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, go get the supply drop. <laughs> Avenger plotting new course. We need the monies. Uh, Operation Death Stank. <laughs> Neutralized target, huh? Okay, it's a council mission. I guess that's what we'll do next. 
All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.